very much. Thank you for coming out. It's way past my bedtime. Uh, I am old, but I do not mind, because my face looks amazing still. <laughs> Thank God for Black Don't Crack. That was what's up. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of my body does not follow that rule. Uh, past six months, I've gained 10 pounds and went up a waist size. Black don't crack, but apparently it does expand. <laughs> it's not the cracking I'm worried about, it's the ripping and the tearing. Just need to eat better. I think next year I'm gonna try black don't snack, see how that works out. <laughs> Maybe a little bit better in the old midsection. I do snack a lot, it's because I'm high all the fucking time. <laughs> Weeds is way too easy to get now, I'm sorry. I'm old school, I'm from New York. We used to have to get our weed from a street dealer. The old hand-to-hand. -hand. We didn't have dispensaries on every corner with their convenient hours. Back then, the only thing we had dispensing weed on every corner was a Puerto Rican. And his hours were either he's there or he's not. Good luck with that. I do enjoy getting nice, fresh weed in jars now. I don't know if you know, a lot of dealers kept their stash down their pants. Nothing fresh about that at all. We used to call that crotch weed. Yeah, it sounds as disgusting as it was. I was so used to smoking crotch weed that until I started getting my weed from dispensaries, I just assumed one of the side effects of marijuana was pink eye. I just, just wondering why my eyes would be red as shit for days afterwards. Here's a little note for you guys. The little hairs on the weed should not be black and curly, okay? Just write that down. You may want to write that down. You don't want that in your weed. 